What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Speaking of videos, that is exactly what today's video is going to be all about. What role does it play in baseball? And speaking about videos about videos, today's video on this channel marks the one year mark of when I first began posting videos on YouTube. It's been an incredible ride and I can't thank you enough for your incredible support over the last year. Now let's jump into the real video. But wait, one more thing. If you've been a fan of this channel, then I have some good news for you. If you enjoy seeing my content on YouTube and you wish to see more of me, well, no, not that me, the real me. My fiance and I have officially started a vlogging channel called Emma and Jake. Our first video is a pretty special one as it captures our engagement trip to BAM. So please check it out and subscribe for more of me. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. All right, this time for real. We're now going to really jump into what today's video is going to be about, and that's video. To begin with, what is video typically used for in baseball? To me, it serves three main roles, at least in collegiate and professional baseball. The first is for player development. The second is for helping coaches and players analyze past performance. And the third is for game preparation, aka scouting. Player development can mean a lot of things. It can mean creating a video database to see changes over time of whatever you may be training. It can mean purchasing expensive equipment and working on pitch design or simply taking videos with your phone and talking about an athlete's mechanics. This is all simple stuff that can be done pretty much by any coach anywhere. And typically, the goal of this is pretty simple, to get guys better. Next is going to be video used for analyzing past performance. At the collegiate and professional level, basically every single game is going to be tagged through a software called BATS. This produces cut-up game footage that enables players and coaches to go back and see different events that may have taken place on the field during that game or the entire season. If you're looking for a way to get your foot in the door in professional baseball, this is a great place to start, as this software is used by almost every major league team and throughout most of their affiliates. That means that there are over 100 jobs simply manning this software across all levels of each organization's video department. Oh yeah, and this type of video is also utilized with the end goal of getting guys better. Lastly is our scouting systems. We talked about this in a previous video, but our scouting reports are what prepare us to expose our opponents to weaknesses and play to our own strengths. That information, however, is gathered through a video software named Synergy, at least at the collegiate level. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But even though we aren't talking about improving our own guys, we are now talking about finding ways to make our guys more successful, which at the end of the day is about making our guys better. So if all of this video technology is out there, and its end goal is to make guys better, and it's heavily used throughout almost all levels of professional and collegiate baseball, this must be pretty important, right? Yes, absolutely. So let's talk a little bit more about all three of these areas in more detail. First, we will focus on player development. Like I said before, this could mean utilizing an edutronic camera. Rapsodo now has a new high-speed camera out as well, but it doesn't have to be new and fancy. You can also get a lot of similar work done by utilizing your phone or on a more budget-friendly option than the Edutronic or Rapsodo camera, such as the Sony RX100 Mark IV. This is a camera I haven't personally gotten a chance to use yet, but through interacting with all of you guys, I've heard that it's a pretty great option. You can really think of utilizing video in this way as a mirror. You begin to paint a picture of your current self, and you're working on what you'd like to see within your future self. The other benefit of this technology is that some guys are visual learners, so in pairing this technology with others, such as Rapsodo, we begin to attack each guy's brain from so many different angles to help achieve our desired result. Because at the end of the day, everyone learns differently, and it's our job as coaches to figure out what works best for our guys, not always necessarily what has worked best for us in the past. Next, we will talk about the video tech that is out there to analyze past performance. Like I said earlier, the most popular video tagging software in the game is a software called Bats. Let's talk a little bit more about how this software works. So during every game, or scrimmage, live set, whatever you'd like to capture, you set up cameras around the stadium that records the game from several different angles. Then during the game, one person will sit on the software on a laptop, basically keeping your typical book. This includes inputting things like pitch type, pitch speed, batter action, then results of the play, for every single play that occurs on the field. On top of that, there's a start and stop button that that person will click at the beginning and end of every pitch. After the game is over, the cameras are then collected and the film is lined up and cut to those marks that allows anybody with access to the software to go back and watch the game in a fraction of the time. 
On top of that, you can also apply certain filters to bring up certain videos of different guys, different matchups, all of one guy's swing and misses, or just cruise through a full game at a rapid pace. Like I said earlier, there are hundreds of jobs out there in professional baseball simply manning this exact software. For me, this was one of my main responsibilities when I was at Iowa, as well as the time I spent with the Orioles. I've probably logged, including different scrimmages and other things, close to over 400 games at this point in time on this software. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how heavily this software is used. Lastly, let's talk about scouting reports. So we spoke in a previous video about a software called Synergy that allows us to extract data and enter it into our templates in order to aid in the end goal of having a successful day on the field come game day. That is only half of what that software is actually made for. On top of the massive amounts of data we're able to come through, we are also able to sort for almost anything you'd like to see out of a guy and watch a video of those occurrences in his previous game appearances. So on top of our scouting report, we have a notes section for things we've seen on video. Take a look at things like how quick a pitcher is to the plate, if they're tipping their pitches, and even break down what holes a guy may have in a swing based on his mechanics. We then jot those notes down into our template and utilize all of that information on game day. So those are the three main areas that video is utilized for in today's game. To me, it can be broken down further into three simple words. Improve, review, and prepare. The best part is, you don't need any fancy software or equipment to get some of these things done. All of us have a high quality video camera in our pockets nowadays, so you can record a guy's mechanics and speak to them about improving their game. You can videotape your own games and scroll through it at your leisure without any fancy software. And if you want to pick up tendencies on other teams, go and watch them or find a way to see their games online. My point is, video plays an essential role across all levels of modern baseball. It can take several different forms, but it has one end goal of getting guys better. And through that, hopefully translating to more wins. But that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more simple Saber metrics, please subscribe. Click the video on the left for more baseball animations or the video on the right to check out my new vlog. Leave a comment and a like down below to show your support. And I will see you next Wednesday with a new baseball animation.